I am a firefighter on the go. Here is my helmet, here is my hose. When I see a fire, hear me shout. I turn the water on and put it out. All right, that was a lovely song indeed. Now we have come to the end of our lesson. But before we can say goodbye, always make sure to sanitize your hands. Keep a social distance. And remember, whenever you need to leave the house, put on your mask at all times. Let us welcome our friend and we say goodbye until next time. Bye-bye. your friends anymore but you can still give yourself some love or you can practice how to blow hugs yeah, 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 yeah. and until next time bye football on go tv so he traded being a best man for being a best fan miriam stood her date up just for this matchup albert and his family had plans but they couldn't miss this and neither can you stay connected to go tv this new football season for front row seats to all the football worth watching on our revamped super sport channels go tv live it love it Good morning boys and girls all over Namibia and welcome to my zone online school my name is Miss Irene Siteketa with me in the studio I have our good friend Chanel welcome Chanel to our class so before we start with our lesson today boys and girls Chanel let's take our sanitizer we spray it on our hands then we sanitize our hands let's make sure that we rub palm to palm between our fingers behind the palms channel the thumb make sure that you rub it thoroughly and then let's try to see if we are keeping a social distance very good well done so our topic today the theme is uh, human development and our topic is physical developments or changes <music> Okay, so today let's look at our competences, Chanel. Our competences are, list the physical changes in maturing boys and girls. Explain the kinds of changes which occurs in maturing boys and girls. So, and we are going to look at secondary sexual characteristics only. Explain their physical development and appreciate these important steps towards adulthood. Our vocabularies are maturity, being fully developed, and ready to reproduce. Physical changes, these are changes that can be seen in humans during their growth. Secondary sex characteristics are features that are appearing during puberty in humans and sexually, at sexual immaturity. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Chanel, so let's look at page 14. We are looking at puberty. 
What is puberty Chanel? Puberty is the stage in the human life cycle when the sexual organs mature for reproduction. In short, we say puberty is the time when boys and girls change into men and women. So underneath puberty, you can see there's a picture. That picture is trying to illustrate some of the changes that we undergo during puberty. Now, Chanel, let's go to page 15. On page 15, we start with our first competence. Boys and girls, let me tell you, competences are the questions. When we give you competences, we are giving you the possible questions that will come on the topic. Number one, least physical changes in maturing boys and girls. So let's look at the picture. What happens to girls during puberty? Chanel, are you with me? Good, let's look at the face. You may get pimples or acne. Sweat, you have to experience sweat under your armpits. Menstruation or periods begins. Height, you get taller. Breast, the breast will grow or develop. Hair, you will be able to grow hair in your armpits, on your legs, and also on your private parts. Now, let's look at puberty or at boys. What happened to boys during puberty? Height, they also get taller, just like girls. Face, you may get pimples. And then in addition to pimples with boys, so they will also start developing facial hair. Private, your penis and testicles get bigger. Voice, your voice deepens or it becomes deeper. Sweat, your armpits will sweat or sweat increases. Hair will grow on your face, as I said earlier, on your arms, legs, chest, and between your legs or on your private parts. Chanel is still with me? Fine, boys and girls, we look at our second competence that says, explain the kinds of physical changes which occurs in maturing boys and girls. And remember, we are only looking at secondary sexual characteristics. So let's start with boys. The question is explain. So we have listed already the changes. Now we have to explain them. Height and muscle growth. How do we explain them? You will get taller and stronger and start to grow muscles. Acne or pimples, you may develop acne this is a condition of the skin that shows up as bumps, most commonly on the face. Voice changes. Your voice will get deeper. Hair growth. Body hair starts to grow around your armpit, your face, your chest, your private parts, legs and arms. Sweating increases. Broadening of the shoulder due to the enlargement of muscles. Let's look at girls. Body hair starts to grow around your armpit, private parts, legs, and arms. Hips becomes widened. Menstruation or periods begin. Now let's go to page 16. Chanel, page 16. Breast develops and increase in size. Setting increases. Acne and pimples, you may develop acne. As we said earlier, this is a condition of the skin that show up as bumps, mostly common on the face. Height, definitely you will get taller. That is an increase in height. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back, boys and girls. So now we look at our last competence that says explain the physical development and appreciate these important steps towards adulthood. Chanel, are you there on page 16? Well, so when you look at uh, the pictures, that picture is trying to show you the different stages that we undergo as we grow. So now, in life, as it says there, it's normal for physical changes to occur or to happen during puberty. Always focus on good things about your life and what you can do to others. You don't need to be scared. You don't need to be ashamed of the changes that is happening to you. 
Eat healthy food, exercise regularly, and get enough sleep. Talk to someone about these changes. It will help you understand them better. Let's move to page uh, 17, Chanel, and boys and girls all over Namibia. Good. Here is a self-assessment for you. Try to see if you really uh, studied or learned something in today's lesson. So it says, list and explain the physical changes shown with the lines on the pictures below. So the first, first picture there, it's showing you puberty in females or in girls. Now, when you look at that girl, there are lines drawn on her. And these lines are showing you the different changes that happens on each and every part of the body where the line is drawn. All that you need to do is you go back to your notes. You can also make use of your textbook that you are using at your school. And then you try to see what is that change. And then you just write it down. Good. When you are done with a girl, you go to males, which is a boy. You also do the same. Look at the lines. Where is that line pointing? And then you write the change. Boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson today. But before we go, Chanel, let's take our sanitizer once again. We spray our hands. We sanitize thoroughly between the fingers, behind the hands, Chanel, the thumb, Until next time, bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Uh, you can't hug your friends anymore, but you can still give yourself some love. Or you can practice how to blow hugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And until next time, bye! Good morning to you all, boys and girls, all over Namibia, and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Ms. Irene Siteketa, and with me in the studio today, I have our good friend, Chanel. Welcome, Chanel, and let's say hi to the viewers. So, before we start, boys and girls, let's take our sanitizer. We sanitize our hands. Make sure that we rub the sanitizer on our hands, on our palm, between our fingers, behind our palm, on our thumb, Chanel. Good. Now let's try to do the distancing drilling. So just for us to make sure that we are keeping a distance. Thank you. So today our topic is nutrition. Well, boys and girls, let's go to page 16 in our booklet. So under the heading nutrition, we have sources of food. Chanel, what are sources of food? Boys and girls, I hope you all have the answers. When we talk of sources of food, we are referring to where does our food come from? Where do we get food? So mainly, our food comes from plants and animals. Do you agree with me? Think about last night. What did you have for dinner? Yes. I can see some of you are saying you had pap and meat, spaghetti and chicken, meats and rice. So look at this uh, food. So you can see that some comes from plants and some comes from animals. That's what we are going to discuss about today. But before we go deep in detail, let's look at our competences. Boys and girls, remember that last time I told you that competences, they serve as questions. So these are the questions we as teachers set up either in an activity, in a test, or even in your examinations. So our competences for today are 
define a balanced diet as the diet containing all the necessary food substances in the right amounts. Describe the effects of poor eating habits in relation to lack of variety of food, for example, goita and marasmus. Describe how the effects of poor eating habits can be prevented through a balanced diet. So these are our three basic competences. Well, to continue, let's look at our vocabularies. Our vocabulary today are nutrition. This is the process of getting the food necessary for health and growth. Balanced diet. It contains the right amount of food from all the six food groups, including water. Let's go now on page 17. Goita. Goita is the swelling of the neck resulting from an enlargement of the thyroid gland. What is the thyroid gland? Thyroid gland is located at the front of the neck, just below the Adam's apple, and is essential for life, growth, and development. Marasmus. It is a condition of chronic undernourishment occurring especially in children and usually caused by a diet deficiency in calories and protein. So these are our vocabularies. Well, boys and girls, let's look at the balanced diet. What is a balanced diet? Chanel, do you know what a balanced diet is? Good. A balanced diet is the diet containing all the necessary food substances in the right amount. Just like what the word says, balance, and then diet. So you make sure that the food that you eat needs to be balanced. Because diet is the food that we eat every day. Well, when we talk of balanced diet, we are referring of a diet of, of a meal that has all food substances or all food groups that can provide us with all the nutrients our body needs. What are these nutrients? So the nutrients are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, fats and oils, vitamins, minerals, and that includes water and fiber. Good. On the picture, on page 17, you can see that it, has, uh, it gives you some examples of food that provides you with carbohydrates. So I am sure that you are able to identify all those food sources, because we know them, they are familiar to us. Then there are also some food sources that gives you liquids and fats. Next, we look at also the food sources that provide us with protein. And on the bar chart, next to the food sources, it shows us how much do we need for each food substance or for each nutrients. For example, when you look at carbo carbohydrates, it provides a big portion of our meal. Why, Chanel, do you know? Well, simply because carbohydrates is the one that provides energy. So these are our energy providing food. Next is protein. When you look at protein, it needs to cover 25 to 35% of our meal. The reason is because protein is needed for our body building. Next are fats. So fats, we need a small amount of fats, only 15 to 25%. Because fats, they also provide us with uh, energy storing foods. Boys and girls, let's continue. Next. We look at the effects of poor eating habits in relation to lack of variety of food. For example, goita and marasmus. So what happens when you don't eat a balanced diet? That's what we mean by saying the effects of poor eating habits. Not everyone can always get the food they need to be healthy all the time. Many children suffer from malnutrition, 
So when we talk of malnutrition, we are referring to the diseases that we get due to not eating the right amount of food. So, and this is when they either do not get enough food or they do not get enough of the right type of food. A lack of a balanced diet can cause, look at the picture there, so you can see that the picture is showing you different malnutrition diseases. So these are diseases that you can get if you don't have a balanced diet or if you don't eat a balanced diet. You can see that on the picture we have scurvy, that is a disease that uh, can destroy your gums. We have kwashako, we have marasmus, we have goiter. Now let's move to page 18. As I mentioned earlier from the previous page, that marasmus is one of the malnutrition diseases. So let's look at marasmus. What is it and what causes it? Marasmus is a form of a severe protein and energy malnutrition deficiency. So this is a disease that you suffer from if you don't have food that contain protein or energy giving food. Malnutrition deficiency, what are the symptoms? How will you know that this child is suffering from malnutrition? So a child with marasmus looks very thin, just like what you see on the picture there. The child looks very thin. The body weight may be reduced less than 80% of the average weight that corresponds to the height. The next malnutrition disease that we are looking at is goiter. What is goiter? What causes it? Goiter is a swelling in the neck resulting from an enlarged thyroid gland. A goiter can be associated with a thyroid that is not functioning properly. Worldwide, over 90% of goiter cases are caused by iodine deficiency. In short, boys and girls, this is telling you that if you don't have iodine in your diet, you are going to suffer from a disease called goiter. And the symptoms of goiter is the swelling of the thyroid gland that you have in your neck. So meaning your Adam apple, Adam's apple will grow larger. So when you see that, then you must know that you are suffering from goiter or somebody is suffering from goiter. So this goiter is a borrowed word from Latin. So which means gataria meaning throat is a disease of the throat. Boys and girls, are you still enjoying our lesson? Chanel, are you still enjoying the lesson? Well, let's continue. Next, we look at describe how the effects of poor eating habits can be prevented through a balanced diet. The best way to prevent marasmus is to have an adequate intake of calories and protein, preferable from a healthful. When we talk of calories, calories we are referring to energy. So in order for you to prevent marasmus, you must eat a food that provides you with energy and you must eat food that provides you with protein. Now, for example, on the picture there, you can see that these are some of the foods that can provide you with protein. We have foods like meat, eggs, cheese, fish, broccoli, you mention them. So in addition to this, you must also have some foods that will provide you with carbohydrate. Since we know that marasmus is a disease that can happen due to lack of energy giving food as well as protein. For most patients, preventing simple goiter is as easy as a small change in diet. Iodine is necessary for producing thyroid hormones. Some patients do not eat enough iodine, so it causes the thyroid to work over time to produce thyroid hormones. Using iodide-stable iodide salt can prevent simple goiter. So this is telling you that in order for you to prevent goiter, you must have some iodine 
in your diet. So you can get iodine from using iodized table salt. The normal salt that we use that we put in our food. Just by having it, it will be able to prevent goiter. Next to the explanation, you can see that we have a picture of different foods. So these foods include cold fish, yogurt, baked potato, eggs, tuna fish, you mentioned them. So these are some of the foods that will provide you with iodine. Well, boys and girls, Chanel, it's activity time. So let's try to do some activities for you to check whether you really understood the topic or not. Number one, you need to complete this safety, food safety crossword puzzle. So you have words across that you need to complete and words down. So read the instructions and uh, complete the words according to the blocks. Question two, what is a balanced diet? You need to write down the definition of a balanced diet. Three, what poor eating habits can lead to goiter B marasmus? Identify poor eating habits that can lead to goiter and marasmus. Question four, how do you prevent these poor eating habits? Boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson today. Before we go, so let's try to sanitize our hands again. We make sure that we rub our palms together between our fingers, behind our hands. Chanel, do it properly. So rub on your thumb. Good. Now let's try to see if we are still keeping our social distancing. Yes. So it's very much important, boys and girls. Make sure that you keep safe. We see you next time. Bye-bye from the studio. Hi, everyone. I'm back. And if you are scared of what you read on social media, talk to your parents and ask them the questions. They know everything. Until next time. and cities. Men, women and children will stop. My heart is pumping just thinking about it. And ready themselves in front of their television sets. With hope in their hearts. And wait for the game to start. There is nothing bigger or better. On these days, we'll cry, scream, hurt and dream. Hundreds of cities Millions of souls united by football. It's the world's game. Here we go! Glorious! Oh, it's out of this world! Stay connected to DSTV to watch the world's best football. When you're saying things that degrade women, for me, number one, I am not there because that is basically what I don't, I don't believe in. I don't stand for things.